Welcome to the Burning Metal Roundup. This is the second roundup for August. I'm joined yet again this week by Adrian Williams of Con- Metal Messiah Radio, conjuring some of the Hellfire Club screams from the Metal Crypt. How are things, Matt? I am doing good. I am. Good stuff, good stuff. And another interesting week in the world. Did you see the, the mad story this week that there's a report in the news that a seven foot high aliens have been terrorizing a Peruvian tribe? <laughs> I didn't see that, no. Oh, no, no, no. That was my one of my favorite news stories this week, and uh, Hank the Tank was caught too as well. <laughs> Hank, Hank the, the tank. tank is a fucking five hundred pound bear that has broken into twenty four houses over the last two years. What? The <laughs> he, he just goes. She goes. She. She. It's in the end. So she goes in. Gets through the door and gets all the food, eats all the food in the house and brings the rest for the... She, she had three cubs. Jesus Christ. So this tank, this tank the tank bear was going around terrorizing this part of America and everyone was afraid of their life to go near it because if you cornered a bear, you'd be fucked, like. Yeah. So they're just letting the bear go in and eat all their food, like. <laughs> this huge motherfucking bear, like, oh. <laughs> There's, like... There's two stories. This is the kind of stories you should be looking up, you know. You're making yeah, it like yeah, better. I know. I'll be looking at all the dreary shit that's going on in the world and everything else. Look up Hank the Tank and... Hang on a second. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Oh, sorry, just a few people making noise outside and stuff going on. But we have seven releases this week. And I was like, seven days in a week with seven releases. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of looking like earlier in the week we'll be doing we done a Bloodstock special last week as a bonus episode, and it was looking like we'd be good in another bonus episode because of, up to nearly Thursday we only yeah. have Levine and Dead Label, and then all of a sudden we have seven. Yeah, that's right. Fucking, and fun. we shall kick this one off with Levine, who we've covered m- numerous times before, and we're not going to tell the story again about how they formed. Well, I'm, or I'm t- telling it now, but I'm saying I'm not going to tell it, and I am telling. It how they formed at the tail end of last year, put a band together, and they played Bloodstock this weekend. We're not, that's, we don't need to keep going over and over and again. It's an amazing story, and I hope everything went well for them. Yeah. And this is Levine, the Crash the Gates, from their EP Fine Fader. This is their debut debut video. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to be, we're going to play about a minute of each track, but we've said it before, we've said it again. The Vee Man, what a band there! Yeah, fucking amazing band. That EP is probably on my top three EPs where we come end of year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be in my list as well, too, to be honest, man. It's just they're a force of nature, these lads. I know, I know, it's fucking amazing. I was just thinking there, I was talking with fucking Charity and Charity from Forna. He said Lachlan's played fucking Bloodstock two years in a row. Yep. The drummer. Far not last year and this year with Levine. Levine, yeah. Amazing. Sure. Yeah. I ran into them. I ran into him, of course, on my final gig because Far Nots were playing. And I just said to him, you're a bit, a bit fucking greedy now, you who are playing it two years in a row. Like, <laughs> he said to me that he's, he, you know, he said to me that, I, I don't know if he should say this, but he said to me, he's going to enjoy it a lot more this year. Yeah. Because yeah, the, the pressure is, is won't feel the same pressure this year. 
You know, yeah. you'd, you'd be very nervous going out playing in Bloodstock as a young lad. <clears throat> but yeah. when you've done it and you've already got it over, you can go into it looking for a different light. I'm just going to enjoy this one this time. Yeah. Because you could easily fall into the trap of getting... Like, yeah, I don't know. It happened to bands that played Bloodstock before in the past. I won't name any of them. But I know there's two bands that played Bloodstock that were rabbits in the headlights and they fucked it up. Yeah. You know, they just, it didn't, it, I was watching them. I'm like, this is when I used to go to Bloodstock all the time. <clears throat> I was like looking at them. I was going, what's going on here, lads? Where, 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 where are you? Just fucking rabbits in the headlights, you know? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Fuck. So it can happen, you know, it's a very intimidating yeah. thing. Like, you know, if you're a band and you're trying to get somewhere next thing you're playing a Bloodstock, you know? Mm. Yeah. You know, not every personality can juggle that I kind of pressure you know yeah i know what you mean yeah i think i think levine will do well with it because they're they're on a they're on a trajectory forward and this is just another step forward this will be like we're going to take this for everything we can get and kick on further from here that's yeah hmm. i hope i hope i'm right i, I imagine i am because Aaron I, and levine have done in their short histories shows severe and serious just like we're going for this And Adrian has frozen. Yeah. Ah, we're having a few technical issues tonight, but yeah. that's all right. These things can happen. And that was Levine crash the gates from their EP Fine Failure. Check it out wherever you stream music. And next on our list, we have another band that play or are playing that played now at this stage. Played Bloodstock this weekend. They opened the Ronnie James Dio stage this morning. That's Dead Label, and they released a new single, Forget the Name, and we shall play a minute of that now. Bit over a minute. From what I'm hearing, they done really well this morning. I'm not surprised. I'm not. I know. I'm not surprised. I seen a post by chance today when I was just doing all the last minute checking out for stuff, and apparently they had the sound was amazing, and it did. They, they, yeah. despite the weather going to shit, apparently today they still got a good crowd, and the sound was amazing. And yeah, you know, for them, like so that's great. Yeah. To hear. They have the fucking shops, they do. Like, they've been, you know, they've been doing it for years now. And as we said, the last day, man, dead label sound like dead label, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. The fucking. Can't think of anyone else. Yeah. It's the fine sound they have there. It's just new, straight. I listened to that when you told me earlier because I kind of missed it. Mm. I did. And I listened to it. And out of the last three, is it three singles? This is the best one. I like them all, but they're I like yeah. I like the lyric. The lyrical content of them is very good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're, they're just improving in every aspect of the band. Mm. Yeah. Well done to them. Well done to them. They played the Ronnie James Dio stage today at Bloodstock. That's that, that's fucking amazing. Like for an Irish band to come up through the levels and grind away and get to the top to the top point. Open on the stage at Megadeth and and one stage was Halloween, but it's uh, KK from uh, Judas Priest now. Yeah, like, KK is fucking, fucking hell. Megadeth, like, fucking hell, like. No. You're on the same stage as Megadeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. That's yeah. fucking, not many people can say that. Yeah, I Definitely know. Definitely in the Irish scene. Yeah. 
Maybe yeah. Primordial or Gamma Bomb, perhaps, but nobody else. Yeah. Yeah. Has any other band come through the Irish that's played the main stage of Bloodstock? No, I don't know. There hasn't. There hasn't. I, I, I don't think Gamma Bomb or Primordial have played it either, to be honest. Not Bloodstock. I think oh, they haven't. They haven't. No, no, they're, they're first. Yeah. Fair fucking play. <laughs> no, I know. Fair play to them. They they were the first to do it and hope they're the first of many. Yeah. And next on our list, we have Symbiotic Tomorrow released his latest single, Rise of the Pharaoh. And this is another cracker from him. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, very good. We'll play a minute of Symbiotic Tomorrow, Rise of the Pharaoh. Fucking that the album is fucking amazing. It is. I was listening to it during the week again. Yeah, he sent me on in advance of it. Excuse me, he sent me on in advance of it as well too. Yeah, it's a cracker, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Best one, yeah. Yeah, de- yeah. No, no. One, yeah. I like the whole Nile type Eastern vibes in it as well too. And they've got yeah. uh, the vocalist who's also on the Grave Path. Grave Grave Field. Grave Field. Sorry, excuse me. Grave Fields album. So. Yeah. Gone from one kind of Eastern themed Irish album to another one. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name again? Martin Blank. Thomas. Thomas, Thomas Blank. Blank. Thomas Blank. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's a, that's his best work to date. And of course, Keith McCoy is on drums. Like, yeah. Has to be a, a regular on here, but not so much these days. But there he is again. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's uh, well, the album must be due soon. First of September. Oh, was it September? It's September. I, I, I wasn't entirely sure, but it's no, it's, it's there. It's very soon now, two weeks away, yeah. give or take. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that was Symbiotic Tomorrow, Rise of the Pharaoh. Check it out if you like good debt metal. Yeah, it's very technical. No, oh, you really? very technical. As I say, like, <laughs> what is the two EPs on an album so far? Um, three had two EPs last year, one earlier this year, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, yeah. this year he's consistent. That's part of that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And next on our list, we have. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Why? Um, Behiok. Behiok. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, yeah, the fury of the sea. They're based in Derry. This is a reworking of an older track that they released there this week. Yeah, we should play a minute of that now.
You'll have to give me a hand here, man. I don't know anything about this band. It's one guy. Oh, right. Oh, it's one person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's from um, basically that, that was a re to re record of the it was on the album Conquest, which was released in 2015. Oh. And I think he's been working on um I think he re, he has remastered, he re, remastered that album anyway. And yeah. there's a video he done a video for that song. Yeah, I'll we'll really use that one there, yeah. You know. But um he's working on I was talking to him and he's working on new material. Oh, very yeah. good. That's Which probably why he just remastered it all just to kind of get yeah, the back out again. It kind of remastered all the old stuff, yeah. He's been gone since more than 10 years, I think almost 10 years now. All oh, right, this is what I only discovered it this week. It was uh, or the Irish Metal Archive put up a post about it, and I was just like, yeah. oh, oh, all right, I didn't know yeah. this, but oh. oh, so it's a one man project based in Derry, and he's just been he's been grinding yeah. up, working away at it, and he's just basically getting all ready to go up and get going again, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. Oh, it's fucking, that's fairly good for someone doing it on their own. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm saying you're fucking on the Bandcamp page, basically. There's a lot of good, it's, it's all good, it's pretty good stuff, it is, you know? Well, I'll check it out, I'll check it out, as I say now, this is, I only discovered them this week, so. Yeah. And I had a, wouldn't say a busy week, but didn't have a chance to check out much, so. Yeah. And... Next on our list, we have a new single from the band Lacerator. And this is their track, Tell Your God to Ready for Blood. <laughs> oh, I'd love to press play, wouldn't I? <laughs> Try the plant-based dairy gold. That's a okay. plant-based range that doesn't like dairy. Plant-based dairy gold. That's one thing, that, before we finish to start off this track, that's one thing that amazes me. About this whole vegan movement. I don't give a fuck people are vegan. More power to them if they are. But why is everything vegan? Like fucking meat or sausages or butter or something? Why can't they create their own shit like? Yeah, yeah. Why, 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 why does it have to be vegan meat like? Why are you eating, oh, I'm eating vegan chicken? If you're a vegan, why would you eat vegan chicken? Aren't you supposed to be a vegan? Yeah, I this know. This is the kind of shit I think about. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I'm fucking mental. <laughs> nah, this is what go. I'm sorry, I'm only joking about insulting any vegans. You'll tell me anyway. That's what you do. <laughs> I better stop now. I'm getting worried. No, I appreciate veganism. It's a, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah, oh, fuck it, I can't think of the word. This is Lacerator. <laughs> over a minute I really could cool out fucking old school trash like ah oh, yeah man fucking deadly I know fucking Jeff's on that mm-hmm. he is with a- Eamon fucking a- fucking right deadly fucking music I have to oh, say yeah. I know he's not very active but when he releases something it's fucking really good it is you know oh, yeah, that's just a really good fucking old school trash track isn't it like you know yeah. It just yeah. does exactly what it says on the tin, like. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to try and break any new ground here or anything. I'm just going to pump it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're a cool project. That's the release. That's two tracks they've released this year now. The, uh, yeah, I think it's two. They're, they've released three, basically, all together. Evil as Hell definitely came out this year, anyway. 
Yeah, I think the, well, I forgot the other trot name, the other trot now. Mm. Oh, digging in the hatch, the hatches. It's the first track. First, really. yeah, I, I, you awesome. know, trash metal, all right. Okay. Uh, if you like trash metal, check out Lacerator. Tell your God to ready for blood. And next on our list, we have a band called The Boat Sank, who released. Is this their debut single? No. 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 You, think, not. I, I, you set this on to me. I've been checking their socials and they have a few other songs released. I think, I've heard that. the name, all right, but I've not, I just, that's all I heard. I heard there was a band called The Boat Sank, based in the north, am I right? They got they got to the final of Metal of the Masters up there this year. Get the fuck, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, Jesus. Yeah. That's fucking all right. And they played Crypt as well there last week. Well, that's what I'm saying. I've heard the name, but I didn't know anything else, like, you know. Yeah. And I like the page and I follow it, but I didn't. I, I know. I, I, fucking, uh, I, 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 I live on the like, I live on the page follow thing now. I rarely go into the fucking main feed. Yeah. And even that, I didn't see it. It's, it's weird. I know. Fucking algorithm just be fucking weird sometimes on Facebook. It's, it's gone. It's gone. The pages now have been really restricted lately. It's fucking yeah. shite. But this is Contagion by the boat sank. We'll play a minute of it now. Skoda presents. And that's a Skoda ad. <laughs> And for my introduction to that band, I am fucking liking that a lot. Yeah, deadly. They're deadly. They, they are. are good, man. They are good. I, as I said to before, yeah. I heard the name, but I know nothing else. Yeah. And if that's what they're doing, I'm on board. Yeah. It's, it's fucking really fucking heavy. But the drummer's a fucking man. Yeah, he's a beast. I can tell. You can tell from that. I can do these smashing the fucking cymbals. Like. Yeah. Are they all purely instrumental, yeah? Purely instrumental. Purely instrumental. As heavy as fuck it is, basically, you know? Has a bit of groove. The, There's the a lot groove. of groove on that, man. Huh? There's a lot of groove on that. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of fucking Pantera. Well, I wouldn't really compare it to Pantera because it's got no vocals, first and foremost. Yeah, I know, but the kind of... It kind of has got all this groove and heaviness, yeah. But... The guitar tone, basically, hmm. you know? Oh no, I'm liking that man. I'm liking that one. I will delve further now because they're obviously pretty well highly rated. Because as you said previously, they got to the Metal Masters final, Crypt yeah. the Rift Festival. They must be all right. Like, yeah, good stuff. That was uh, the boat sank. Contagion. Check it out. <laughs> and we have one more on our. Have we one more uh, to cover one? We did, yeah. We have one more, and it's a tr- from a band called Snake Neighborhood. This is their new single, "You Stink," which is. <laughs> really good. This is really yeah. good. I yeah. like this. <laughs> It'll probably be an ad. No, no. <laughs>
played for play albums. Once you suppose to play a minute, I played a bit longer, but I think that song is fucking deadly. Yeah, deadly fucking song that is. Oh, it's fucking. very, it's a, really, it's a proper fucking, it takes me back to the real proper 90s alternative stuff, like. Yeah, it's fucking, I fucking real Stone Temple Pilot vibes. Oh, uh, no, no, it's different for me. Yeah. I, I get more of a silver chair, airy silver chair kind of vocal off it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, very silver yeah. chair vocal but they're different like they've got comedic aspects in the start like you know the intros and stuff like <laughs> and from what I've seen their live shows are pretty cool too they've put on gear and stuff like you know they, they oh they're making a name for themselves up there they're building away nicely like yeah fair play to them anyway it's... oh they are good man they are good I've been we've, well, both of us of course have been following them now since the probably since they started for releasing music and Every time it just gets a bit better, like, yeah, that is their yeah. best one yet. That is a cracker, yeah. And if they don't release an EP or anything, what's beeping the fucking horn out there, you dickhead? But, anyways, uh, <laughs> if they don't release an, an album or an EP or anything over, before the end of the year, that is my in my singles list for certain, yeah. absolute yeah. certain, yeah, just a cracker, like. And we have reached the end of our roundup for this week, the second week of August. We've had seven releases, which is mightily impressive yet again, like seven days in the week and we get seven releases. Yeah, I know. And the quality is unbelievable. Yeah, definitely. Oh, man. It's, as we said, like this, this, no, the, 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 the secret of the Irish scene is starting to become un, 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 yeah. unbroken now with Dead Label opening the fucking Ronnie James Dio stage earlier today. The Bloodstock contingent was seven bands this year, like. Yeah, fucking, that's amazing. Yeah, that is. So like, you know, on this, the Siege of Limerick is getting bigger every year. I've like this, it's just, it's a great time for the Irish scene, I believe, you know, I, because the mainstream is fucking shite now. Yeah, well, fucking, I, I not in regards I, to metal, just in regards yeah, to well, overall, well, like you know, it's it's I pushing know, but... younger people to go out and say. But in the past, you were like, "Do you want to go and see your friend's band?" They were like, "Oh, I'm washing my hair, I'm ironing me fucking boxers or whatever." But now they're more inclined to get out, and the community is building. You can see the young ones are starting to this new Gen Z or whatever they're called are. They seem to have they seem to be just kind of more supportive like you know they're, they're not coming in with like oh i'm fighting your band we're all enemies and they're all seem to be fucking pulling together and just look at where we are like yeah i know i know it's, it's fucking fantastic it is to see it is, it is fantastic it is fantastic and we shall finish on that note and say that everything is great because it is in <laughs> regards to the irish metal scene yeah the rest is, is all fucking what in your own point of view, really, isn't it? And we should yeah. be back next week. Like, share, <laughs> and subscribe, and all that shit, or whatever. Bye. <laughs>